Hi Wildings, welcome to or welcome back to the Wilding Tarot YouTube channel where we do intuitive tarot card readings for whenever you need it guys. Um, as you might have guessed from the title, this is going to be a little bit different and exciting, maybe a little bit racy, um, but something you guys might not know about me is that I am actually doing a master's in sexology. So yeah, I talk about like sex and sexiness and relationships and stuff like all day every day as part of my course so I thought I'd add a little bit of that flavor into our tower reading today and do a <laughs> um, channel messages on what your person finds sexy about you why they're attracted to you sexually and like all that sort of fun stuff um, so I'm going to recommend that this video is going to be an 18 plus kind of content um, for today um and just based on the nature of the reading there might be some like themes that come up around like particular body parts and things like that so just making sure that while this video is definitely intended to be very fun and light um that we will be discussing some things that um could also be triggering so just really checking in with yourself um, to make sure that you're ready to receive this reading. Um, you can always come back to it if it's not a good fit for today, just like based on how you're feeling in yourself and in your body. Um, but for everyone who would like to stay, um, I've left a brief description of each reading in the very, very bottom of the description box. If you're practicing any sort of self-care, like avoiding triggers, or um, only opening yourself up to certain like topics or readings, um, or um, like if you're not feeling super connected to your intuition today and you just want to um, choose a reading based on some buzzwords rather than selecting a reading based on a crystal, that option is always there for you. So you can just scroll down in the description box and use that. Um, for everyone else, you're just going to choose a pile based on where your intuition is sending you, either pile one, two, or three, to receive the messages for your reading. Um, if, like, <laughs> me talking is a little bit distracting, like, don't worry, I'll add, like, a freeze frame um, at the end of this before we head into the reading. So um, you can make your selection if me talking is a little bit distracting, but hopefully I'm kind of, like... Um, <laughs> preparing your intuition like kind of giving you the vibe so um that you'll be directed to the right place um so yeah whenever you're ready go ahead and pick a reading um at, or just pause the frame in a moment when i add in the freeze frame um and wherever you end up i will see you there hey there part one welcome to your reading for what your person finds sexy about you um, so if you chose this beautiful green crystal, then this reading is probably for you. However, as always, taking what resonates, leaving what doesn't. Um, remembering this is a general reading and there may be some messages here for specific people. Um, and there may be some interpretations of the cards that might be a little bit different for you if your energy deviates from the collective a little bit more than other people's. Um, so yeah, always using your intuition and discernment when receiving a general reading. But let's get into it, part one. Let's find out what your person or what people in general find sexy about you. Um, we're going to like use these astrology cards a bit more than we usually would. Like usually, I definitely rely on them for like themes of the reading, but um, for this kind of reading, we're just going to use. Like a fair few cards <laughs> I was gonna say not this many but okay we'll just roll with it Okay, there's so much sexual energy here, guys. Um, I'm kind of like having regret right now. Okay, guys, your person, they, there's so much like sexual energy here. 
So first of all, the seventh house, it corresponds to like the arch of your back, especially like in moments of ecstasy, like, you know, that beautiful, like kind of feminine back arch, like that's seventh house, like Libra energy right there. Um, given the seventh house is also about partnerships, it's probably likely that this person loves coming together with you um, intimately, uh, physically, and also intimately in other ways. Um, your heart is like just so magnetic and it just like makes them want to ravish you and devour you for sure. Um, <laughs> this Capricorn um, Capricorn rules the like skin and complexion and I'm hearing that like when you get like really flushed you know during sexy time that they it just like turns them on so much like your like complexions like I'm getting like really glowy um, especially when it's like maybe a little bit sweaty and a little bit flushed in the cheeks like <laughs> that really turns them on um, this Scorpio energy is eighth house um, and specifically corresponds with the pelvic region um, and the genitalia region. Um, so whatever you've got going on down there, this person like worships it. Like they like have major worship energy when it comes to um, I'm hearing like especially going down on you um, oh my god so much regret so much regret why did i choose this okay this person is just like super triple x like super like yeah this person's like super crazy for you sexually so this is like just a hell of a lot of sexual energy um uranus energy is like legs so um it's like aquarius like especially the lower legs so um, ankles, um, calves, um, hearing that you have like really, really long legs. Um, and so, yeah, they're definitely attracted to long legs, feminine arch, um, your skin, your complexion, your heart, like your heart just radiates so much pure loving energy that just makes them want to like jump on you. And then Scorpio energy, um, is yeah, <laughs> um, pelvis region, uh, they, um, oh my god, yeah, this was a mistake. Um, I'm also hearing that they, like, want to make babies with you. Like, that's, like, the vibe of when they're making love with you sometimes. That they're just like, oh my god, I could, like, make babies with this person right now. Um, so, Mercury energy corresponds with the lungs. Um, I'm hearing this particularly came out um, because Mercury retrograde is like more of a communication kind of thing. So I'm hearing that um, like some of the sounds that you make during um, lovemaking is like super, super sexy and turns your person on so much. Um, you may also have like super like beautiful hands. Maybe you got like really nice nails. That's like kind of third house Gemini energy, which is ruled by Mercury. Um, and then like, I'm getting like maybe stomach area as well. Your person finds super sexy um, because Mercury also corresponds with the um, sixth house and like Virgo energy, um, which has to do with like stomach and um, like more your digestive system. But like I'm hearing from your person, like more so the stomach. Um, yeah this is this is what i have so far let's get a little bit um more specific using this traditional tarot this is probably going to be at least a little bit less triple x thank god i think the astrology cards because they're so like um I don't know they're just like so they can be very um because they're so like tied to well like i don't know there's ties of like all of the cards to different things but yeah i get and it like i get a lot of energy from the astrology cards i started with astrology way before i got into tarot so for me a lot comes out with the astrology cards
anything else for why pile one's person finds them so sexy. Please clarify the six of swords energy. We clarify this eight, eight of cups energy. And the tower card, please. And the ten of swords. Oh, when your person loves like unpacking you and discovering like so much about you, like the more intimate that they become with you, um, the more they un unveil, like the more they realize there is to you. This Ace of Cups is kind of like just pure potential when it comes to like love and romance. And I'm also getting some like psychic gifts and just like this two of ones is like a very kind of um, like uncovering the um kind of mysteries of things um it's like a very discovery kind of card so i'm getting that your person just like with all the intimacy that you experience with them or did experience with them or are experiencing with them like just there just seems to be like another layer and another layer and another layer of you um, and they just like love being super intimate with you because there's just like a never ending like fountain of like stuff to learn about you and stuff to love about you. Um, I'm getting in regards to the kind of the psychic energy that like you're a very powerful manifester and you've actually created just like so much good stuff in your life and your person almost like can't believe it. Like you definitely have kind of like maybe a witchy feminine energy and you like manifest like I'm getting like kind of beautiful aesthetics like uh um like you just manifest a really good quality of life for yourself and your person's like very interested in how you do that because um yeah kind of like it's very intriguing it's one of the things that they're most intrigued by you um and kind of definitely pulls them in a lot <clears throat> they can see that you've definitely um been through a lot and you've had to let go of a lot of stuff it seems like to them at least you're kind of like aware of some of the um kind of like negative false beliefs that you've had in your life and you're very good at articulating and self-reflecting and understanding like kind of like your patterns from the past and what you need to let go of and how you need to um move on and show up in the world i'm also getting like maybe a little bit of anxious attachment energy from you um and so even though you're like a little bit anxious and like sometimes can be a little bit jealous or um like insecure in your relationship your person actually finds that really sexy like i think especially if you experience jealousy um they find that very endearing um and when you share some of your insecurities they find that very endearing like kind of when you share some of the things that are coming up for you in your relationship um that essentially just makes them like want to make love to you I'm hearing like when they hear kind of like how jealous and insecure you're getting like um it's not in like a bad way though like they don't want you to feel those feelings but knowing that you are and that you're sharing it um and that you're like showing them that vulnerability like it just it makes them desire you <laughs> so much um I'm getting as well like that you've been really like a steady space for your person um the six of swords upright can indicate movement um and the two of pentacles can as well like both are kind of like change and transitioning kind of energy um but these both coming out in reverse is telling me that you're kind of like super stable like potentially if you um haven't known this person very long it seems like you've always been sure of your connection and how you feel about them um if you're in separation from this person like you've always kind of maintained like security and stability for them in terms of like like always caring for them no matter how much time goes by and yeah your person definitely interprets you as very reliable and secure and stable for them in terms of like they know how you feel and um they know that you don't really waver in those feelings either like you just always kind of bring them 
the same energy like it's not that variable like you obviously have that witchy like go with the flow but like there's always this underlying like current of love that they really appreciate and just like makes them really want to connect with you more um, but let's see if there's anything that comes out in the oracles for you pile one yeah i think you're like music to their ears um they potentially really like your taste in music as well i'm actually hearing that for some of you if you've created like a sexy time playlist they like hella vibe it um if you haven't i highly suggest that you do um put in like all of the songs that make you feel like super sexy and alive and um yeah they'll they actually like want to listen to that even if you are in separation they'll probably find it um but yeah it's i think if you are in separation it's a good way for you to kind of stay connected with each other just like have those playlists um that the two of you can kind of like see on your profile and whatever um but yeah if you are together like they're definitely like vibe with music so next time you're getting intimate definitely create a playlist set the vibe um because yeah that'll like definitely like help them in terms of like they just want to like flow with what you want so like this is like major ravishing energy they want to ravish you so you kind of set the tone for them okay <clears throat> the hot moon i'm sensing there might be some maybe a little bit bdsm kind of vibes here this person like kind of wants to explore and play with all that with you um, I'm sensing that they kind of like are unleashing like I'm getting like more dom energy like I'm hearing like this like real dom energy is releasing in them right now because of kind of like your very feminine vibe um, not to say feminine always has to be submissive but like that's definitely the energy that I'm getting from your particular feminine energy and it's like really making them want to like stand up and like take you and ravish you and like you know all, all the things um and i think they love that the two of you seem to have some sort of unconditional acceptance of each other um and like yeah i think like sexually you're both like super open to this sort of stuff too like um they love that you accept kind of the whatever kind of kinks and stuff that they might have like they love that you're just like yeah like down with it um you might represent some darkness for them um or like mystery and some things that they don't really understand um but they're definitely hungry for you so so hungry if you guys are in separation they're probably like hella wanting to come back together because um yeah they just want to ravish you again um but yeah, I think this balance card has a lot to do with this like consistency over here and also this like focus energy. Like I'm getting that you like want them and you only want them um, and they find that super sexy as well. Um, we also have like three fours, four, 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 um, which is another secure and stable um, kind of angel number. Like four represents the four walls of the house. It's like your security and stability. Um, or mercy depending on like kind of what numerology you're drawing from um so i'm kind of like getting heavy vibes that like no matter what happens in this connection you guys will always love and care about each other and like accept each other and do what's best for each other you're like a really good um pair in terms of like you balance off each other perfectly um like you're opposite in beautiful ways but you can also find some common ground and sameness which is really beautiful um Lastly, I'm just going to get an affirmation. You can take this as your person's affirmation to you or spirit's affirmation for you at this time. Um, just something to take away. I always find it's nice to end on an affirmation. Okay, we want two. That's fun. It is what it is. Okay. I'm in full control and have the power to attract all that I desire. Yeah, I feel like that's that heavy manifesting energy that we talked about. Um, my heart is filled with eternal gratitude. 
I count my blessings and give thanks for all that I have. I think this definitely feels like your person's energy for most of you here, but take it with a grain of salt. If you want to take these as like personal affirmations, that's totally up to you. Um, using your intuition and discernment is super important, um, but just interpret those whatever way feels right for you right now. Um, but I think I'm going to leave that there pile one. I hope you got everything out of this reading that you really wanted and needed um, today. I hope it was fun. I um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was entertaining. Um, but until next time, if you could like, comment and subscribe, I would really appreciate it because that will help me stay on your feed for more intuitive tarot card readings like this one. <laughs> um, until then, ciao. Hey there, pile two. Welcome to your reading for what your person or people in general find really sexy about you. So if you chose this beautiful purple crystal, then this reading is probably for you. Um, however, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a general reading, so there may be some messages here for specific people, and there may be some interpretations of the cards that might need to be slightly altered to better fit your situation if your energy deviates from the collective a little bit more than everyone else's. Um, so just yeah bringing your intuition and discernment to a general reading um which is a gift in itself is to practice using your intuition and discernment i was just about to say something else but then whatever it was totally slipped out of my mind but let's go ahead and get some messages for you pile two about what your person finds really sexy about you. I hope that's in the shop. We'll have to find out. What does Pile 2's person find really sexy about them? pretty much all of the elements coming out. That's like super wild. Seems like very different from the last one. This person is so full of desire from you uh, with this fire element and desire card coming out. Um, so the fire element um, signs are Sagittarius, Leo and Aries. Um, so Aries rules like the headspace. So I would say your person loves like kind of who you are as an individual self, but also I'm getting that they like love your face. like. Yeah, like seeing you, I'm seeing especially your lips, like that just like makes them go super, super crazy. Um, Leo energy is like heart and spine. So I'm sensing like just so much attraction to your heart. And um, it's also associated with like the fifth house of like making babies, which I'm like hearing <laughs> super strongly um, or just like creative energy, if that's like not your vibe. Um, and then it's also associated with the spine. So I'm definitely seeing that kind of like curve, um, that spine curve that's like super, super sexy, um, known as like the feminine curve. Um, it can like <laughs> um, be associated with kind of like the height of passion. Like it's a shape that the female body sometimes makes um, or like actually any body, like we're way less female male um, than what you might think. Um, but yeah, that kind of like in the height of passion kind of like curve, your person just like loves that or people in general like love that. Um, but I'm getting, especially when it comes to the fire element, because this Sagittarius card came out, they love, 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 love your hips and thighs. <laughs> like, like whoever you are, like your hips, your thighs, like drives them super crazy. Like they love, love, love that about you. Um, with the earth element here we've got Virgo energy Capricorn energy and Taurus energy um Taurus energy is like the neck and the throat especially so I'm getting that they potentially like want to put their hand around your throat a lot of the time um and then the Virgo energy is like very much about like kind of stomach so I'm getting like definitely hip stomach 
um, thigh like region for them in particular is like, or people in general is like just super, super, super sexy um, to them. Like they just love that. They could just like, <laughs> I'm hearing like eat you up. Um, but this Capricorn energy that came out has a lot to do with the skin. Um, so I'm sensing, especially when it comes to this earth element, their favorite thing is like your skin, your complexion, how soft your skin is. I'm hearing for you in particular pile two. Um, and like, especially when you get like sweaty and flushed and like kind of like in the height of ecstasy, they find that really, um, like sexy. Um, also if you've ever been wet, like in a shower or a pool, like if your skin's ever been like soaked in front of them, they find that super sexy. I'm getting that they have like major sexy vibes from like seeing you in a pool or the ocean or, you know, anything like that. They just like, or getting out of the shower, they just like love seeing you wet. Um, come on, like, yeah, this, this reading like is super intense, like, um, but anyway, water elements are also Cancer, Scorpio, um, and Pisces. So Pisces rules the feet, rules the toes, like no judgment if they have a foot fetish, would not be surprised though, like based on this card coming out, um, which makes a lot of sense because like in our brain, our genitals and our feet are stored like right, right, right next to each other. So like, obviously there's like some overlap there, um, but just know that your boo like vibes that about you. Um, and speaking of Scorpio energy, um, pelvis, um, yeah, so that's like the Scorpio energy is like the pelvic bowl and the genital area. So yeah, your person loves that about you. They must like have super activation in that like foot pelvis area in their brain, like for whatever reason, like I'm just getting like in like that they get like intensely turned on, <laughs> turned on by all of that. Um, and then we also have, um, like stomach, chest, breast, like area with this um, water element, like indicating some cancer energy as well. Um, and then this destiny card, um, you can see here, this is the tree of life. Um, and what I find really interesting is that basically all of the elements came out um, and they are actually all represented in this tree of life. Um, so fire element has to do with like the one suit and like kind of inspired, um, action and creation. And then the water element has a lot to do with, um, like getting into the feeling of things and like sensing things and, um, yeah, like usually, um, like exercising like psychic gifts and stuff. Um, and so these are like the first two things on this, like the first two elements on this tree of life. Um, and then the air is the third element. Um, and that has to do with like kind of seeing things come into formation and like, um, like thinking thoughts aligned with the thing that you want. Um, if this, if you're going to see this tree of life as like a path of manifestation essentially. Um, and then this earth element is like kind of the having of it. Um, and it seems like your person like definitely sees you as taking, a lot of inspired action and getting into the feeling of a lot of your manifestations and like really seeing the fruits of your labor and they actually love that you're so good at like desiring things and getting in the feeling of it because i'm sensing from them that they're just like super like air energy like they're like heavily cognitive and mental and like maybe these two things aren't as easy for them um but they love that they're really easy for you um and they definitely feel like you're like part of their destiny for sure um like i'm getting like heavy like i want to be with this person forever kind of vibes from them um but let's get some more maybe less um intense messages from this traditional tarot for pile two we have more about why pile two's person or people in gen general find them sexy. Can we clarify this page of cups energy? Can we clarify. 
pile this nine of ones and two of swords energy, please. Ooh. And and the five of ones, please. If you hear snoring, that's my cats. I've got two in here with me at the moment. Pile two, when it comes to maybe the more deeper slash more emotional reasons why your person finds you super, super sexy is definitely like, first of all, a lot of maturity. There's a lot of maturity in this spread. Um, it seems like when things do get sticky um, and there's some sort of like riff in this connection, um, instead of like actually, like taking action straight away, um, which is kind of this page of wands in the upright position is kind of like getting right in there um, and potentially creating some sort of like betrayal or like, you know, kind of like hurting each other more from like acting without thinking. It seems like you really like do a lot of reflection. Um, the Hermit card corresponds with like Virgo energy, which is like very analytical and just like really, really thinks this things through and like doesn't make a move until they're like completely sure um that they've seen like all sides of the story and like taken all accounts into consideration and that's the energy of this two of swords um card as well so two of swords is a moon of in libra energy so it's like a heavy feeling um and heavy like kind of balanced opposites energy um if you look at the artwork it's kind of like seeing two sides of the story that seem like almost like opposite like two things that just like should not be able to come together but they do like and I think you and your person maybe are so different in so many ways that some of your disagreements maybe feel like they potentially are just like unreconcilable because like it seems like you're just coming at the situation from two polar opposite points of view but like it seems like you really um like ponder on it think about it um and like don't really rest until you've completely understood your person's side of the story as well as your side of the story like you're very reflective um and it seems like all of this is in kind of the interests of like serving the divine partnership the like more um higher order um like purpose of this connection and overall that makes your person feel like super safe super seen super heard um and that just makes them like kind of like want you more like you just feel so good and safe and right for them in all of those regards and that's why probably you've got a bit of synchronicity in terms of like a destiny and like a very um higher order relationship card coming out um so the lovers is gemini energy so it's also kind of like the meeting of two um opposites it corresponds with like the um communication house of the zodiac as well so um it seems like from your person's position that they see you as um kind of like really being like the way that you show up in communication to them seems like the reason why you guys like can communicate um or could communicate if this is more of a potential situation or um maybe like waiting for uh, reunion kind of energy yeah they just know that they can trust you to kind of like um manage their um manage the communication a little bit better i'm hearing from them that maybe they um like can sometimes steamroll and be a little bit stubborn and like very reactive emotionally at least in the past but definitely you're kind of like setting a new tone and like kind of changing the vibe when it comes to um that um energy in them so that actually at the end of the day what you're preserving is the um integrity of each other but also the integrity of the relationship and so it's not about someone winning and losing it's about the relationship winning um which is kind of like in these cards here so 
five of wands is kind of like where you get into sticky situations and six of wands is how you kind of get out of them and like um kind of resolve them um it seems like your person potentially in the past hasn't been like overly focused on that kind of like libra justice like balanced um point of view they've been more of this kind of like steamrolling like wanting to win but meeting you and seeing this kind of like wanting to see two sides of the story um it's like different for them but they love it um and like they're interpreting it as like essentially being like not um overruled by your own subconscious and your own um like preconditioned beliefs and reactions and stuff like that's kind of where they know that their reactions are coming up from like their unconscious which is like this moon card in reverse um and they know that it's also kind of like an immature way to approach love like page of cups is like quite a youthful love energy um right way up it can be like super abundant and um just like full of potential um but in reverse often it um can indicate some naivety when it comes to love and naivety in terms of like what love can withstand. Like I think um, your person maybe thought that they could kind of like charge in with like all of their unconscious crap and you should just be able to deal with it if you're their person um, like initially, but they're realizing now that like that's like a super immature, like not responsible way to approach relationships. Um, and like, yeah, like that, that's actually like something that the love actually can't withstand is people like not being nice within the relationship and not caring about each other and not seeing and hearing each other and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, your person's definitely like learnt a lot from this connection emotionally um, and evolved a lot emotionally. Um, and that just makes them see you as so much more like sexy and wise and just like you have so much to teach them and like it just makes them kind of in awe of you and just like yeah so kind of now they're like admitting that they need help with a lot of this sort of stuff and they trust you to help them um they kind of see you as this kind of like blessing in disguise this like angel that has just like come in and like essentially like saved the way that they approach relationships <laughs> and yeah they really really appreciate it like on a deep emotional level um that makes them want to like essentially be with you forever but let's see if there's anything else in the oracles for you we're not doing lots of oracles today yeah you make them really want to take action like there's something about you that just makes them want to just like kind of like charge in and like woo you um it's yeah this kind of like sovereign energy that you bring to the table like this kind of like high priestess like kind of really knowing what's like the highest way of dealing with something like that's definitely um something that makes them kind of want to charge in and like kind of take you um and just like your ability to like kind of surrender and release to them like even though you're like so wise when it comes to like the dynamic within the relationship like physically I can see that you kind of like surrender to them and let them kind of take you um and that makes them feel like they can trust you with some of the um spiritual and emotional wisdom um and they can surrender to you in that domain um while still being responsible for their stuff but um they know that you surrender to them the same way um, but more in like a physical kind of sexual kind of way <laughs> Um, so yeah, they have a lot of, um, faith in this connection. They really see it, um, creating a lot of abundance for them in their life and, um, being something really beautiful, um, and being something that they really want to have the patience to whoop, stick out. That's going to be fun to clean up wax all over my cards that I don't know how I make these mistakes anyway, but yeah, your person like, they definitely vibe um, this connection and they like really want to make it work. I'm just like fortunate that I just happen to have um, paper towel with me. Mm, this is going to be a bigger cleanup than I thought. Anyway, let's finish off your reading by two. 
Um, let's get an affirmation. What do you need to take away? What do we have for pile two, please? So you can take this as either a message from your person or um, a message that your person wants you to take away or something that your spirit guides want you to take away right now. Like just take whatever interpretation feels right for you. Um, but we have, I allow myself to rest and I reap the benefits of all my hard work. The universe and my inner self are harmoniously balanced. So we've had a few synchronicities in terms of like this yin yang card, this lover's card and this like destiny card. They're all kind of like very like high order connection kind of cards. Um, and then we also have I am fearless in the pursuit of what I desire. I feel like this feels like your person's energy, but um, kind of take it with a grain of salt and just like interpret it in the way that you know is right for your situation. Um, but I think I'm going to leave that there pile too. I hope you got everything out of this reading that you really wanted and needed. It's been a pleasure reading for you. My name is Jade Rewilding and I'll be back on this channel doing intuitive tarot card readings for whenever you need it guys. So if you can like, comment and subscribe to keep me on your page, I would really appreciate it. Until then, ciao. Hey there pile three, welcome to your reading for what your person or what people in general find really sexy about you. So if you chose this beautiful crystal, then this reading is probably for you. However, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a general reading, meaning that there will be some messages here for specific people. And there may be some interpretation of some of the cards that could be a little bit different for your situation if your energy deviates away from the collective a little bit more than everyone else's for that particular part of the reading. So as always with general readings, just bringing your intuition and discernment to the reading. Um, but let's go ahead and get started um, remembering that if the like initial cards that are coming out like don't feel like your vibe don't hesitate to check that description box and make sure that your intuition sent you to the right place um, but if you're pretty sure you're in the right place maybe this message might be about someone else than you expected but we're just going to use this astrology deck to get some of the more physical things your person finds sexy about you. What else does pile ones, threes, sorry? person find sexy about them what else does pile Ooh. pile three tbh your person is probably a boob man woman person they're probably a boob person with this cancer card coming out. So cancer rules the stomach, chest, and breast, especially like I find the um, chest and breast. Um, so yeah, if you have the Tatas, he appreciates, she appreciates, they appreciate the Tatas. Um, I'm hearing for a couple of people that um, they actually like, they like your size no matter what, um, you think about your size like I'm hearing for a few people that um maybe you um yeah could be a little bit insecure about your chest but your person loves that like hella loves it um your person kind of loves all of the like watery elements about your body it also loves the um Piscean um <laughs> place that the Pisces um, sign rules which is your feet um, it is not as weird as it sounds um, your feet are right next to your genitals in your brain um, for like so you get lots of like cross-pollination um, neural stimulation so yeah what can I say your person loves your um, chest and your toes that's that's cool though we don't judge here um, lastly, this is Scorpio energy as well, like with the water um, signs of Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. And also this eighth house is ruled by Scorpio. 
Scopier is the ruler of the pelvis, of the actual <laughs> genital region. So your person loves that about you as well. <laughs> like they find that super, super sexy. Um, so yeah, like pretty much all the watery parts of your body, like all the parts of your body that are ruled by water elements, they're your person's favorite um, parts. Um, so we also have um, the South Node and the Provoker. Um, so I'm sensing from these cards that your person um, potentially likes you to, um, like I'm getting a little bit of like, they like your brat energy. Um, when you bring that to the table, I'm not saying that's necessarily you all the time, but when you do bring that kind of like make me energy to a um, connection, they go wild for that. Um, yeah, so South Node can be like our karma, our chaos. Um, I'm getting in this situation that maybe it's a little bit like of that like kind of kinky stuff um, that your person really likes. Um, they really like when you challenge them. They find that really sexy. Um, your person probably gets a little bit turned on during arguments and when you're mad, <laughs> like not gonna lie. Um, but let's get a little bit more specific using this tarot. So we'll focus like more on the emotional um, reasons why they um, or the deeper reasons why they're sexually attracted to you using these tarot cards. Can we clarify this devil card energy? And the hanged one and the four of cups. And the three of pentacles. Pile three, your person is probably like super kinky. Um, I'm getting from this devil energy, which is like um, very like kind of hedonistic desire, but it's also like a very kind of experienced energy. Like they're probably sexually very experienced. Um, <clears throat> and I'm getting from the seven of swords in reverse that um, they like maybe hurting people, but like in a very consensual way, <laughs> like they, are definitely into like some BDSM stuff um, for sure. Um, and like, I'm, I'm getting that they love to kind of like play the game and like, um, like really challenge you like mentally, emotionally, and um, kind of spiritually when you're like getting down. <laughs> um, so this hanged one can be like, kind of keeping you on your toes kind of energy when it comes to like sexy time. This four of cups is like not necessarily keeping you emotionally secure in that time. Um, so like really challenging you emotionally, like pushing you to your edge. Um, and this three of swords is kind of like similar, pushing you to your edge kind of thing. Um, yeah, this again for pentacles in reverse, not really a secure, stable energy. This three of pentacles is like basically not really um, like right way up. It's like a very collaborative, supportive kind of energy, but upside down, probably not. I'm just going to like, just like blanket statement here, just like make sure that you're um, practicing a lot of aftercare and like know what your boundaries are because this person like seems like they really 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 want to push those boundaries a lot like pushing the boundaries and really um experiencing the polarity of the um sexual relationship with you is so enticing to them um that they'll kind of like um like seek that um kind of like novelty and extreme at all costs so boo just make sure you're protecting yourself um and like 
staying within your boundaries like it's so fine to like set up a situation where you're being like super challenged and um like kind of taken out of your comfort zone a little bit <laughs> but like i'm just here like making sure that you're keeping safe in this connection um which could be like a little bit of my bias like <laughs> Just like making sure that you're safe because this person's energy is like just so intense in terms of like that sexual play um which like i'm like 100 percent down for and supportive of i just want to make sure that you're being safe so make sure that you um hear that kind of like safety it seems like there's a lot of like underlying love in this um connection as well but yeah this person lacks the provocation they lack the kind of the chaos um and they're just like very i'm getting like kind of sexually explicit especially with this kind of like cancer like chest energy and scorpio genital energy like coming out they're like just like so sexual this person's like vibe so intense <laughs> um but hey if that's what floats your boat that's what floats your boat just like go for it um have the best time i feel like this person would take you on a real journey and like potentially like really open you up to like a, a whole new way of approaching like sex and sexuality because this is like this is like super wild um but yeah know that they're like hella kinky they like really like role play challenge um potentially um like really um kind of shaking things up with you sexually but like i am actually getting from this card coming out that it's kind of like trying to shake you out of your cage and like bring you to like higher states of consciousness and like like some of these like bdsm things can kind of like get you to surrender so much that you kind of like release all of your earthy bounds and like you essentially like see god so that's definitely what this person's intention is um with you like they want to bring you closer to god through sexual experience um yeah and some of that stuff is definitely gonna <laughs> take a bit of your resilience and like challenge you um but yeah this person like sexually <laughs> super super hungry for you like yeah this is like hella just like so much desire especially sexual desire energy um but yeah i think like going through this stuff will actually increase your sense of like your own power um and probably make you love yourself way more because sometimes like surrendering our kind of like hang-ups our earthly hang-ups um like surrendering all that brings us closer to love because like whenever like looking for more self-love whenever we're trying to love ourselves we're trying to let go of all the things that stop us from loving ourselves like greed and jealousy and comparison and all that sort of stuff and so by this person challenging you sexually there's like huge potential for them to like really wake you up um and like break down some of the barriers that you have to self-love and find it just make sure you're being super safe because you know this kind of play like it can be very challenging it can bring up trauma um you've got to have like exit strategies you've got to have plans you've got to have aftercare um because like you're really playing with fire and like really like there's so much potential for good but also there's so much potential to like re-injure yourself so just being like super mindful of the process that you're in and how powerful it is and how transformative it can be for better or for worse um, but let's get an affirmation for you, pile three. You can either interpret this as a message coming from your person, a message coming from your guides, um, or however you want to take it. So just whatever feels right for you, honoring that. But let's get you a affirmation, pile three. Like, obviously, spirit really wanted me to get out <laughs> everything that I've been saying because it's just been like... I'll just wait till you're done. <laughs> just like, I'm not in any rush to get a affirmation card out. Here we go. Okay, so we have, um, I forgive the hurt that has been done to me. I step away from the prison of resentment and my inner being is connected to the divine wisdom of the universe. I really feel like this 
potentially is like the vibe of like all of this like role play fun stuff that you might be engaging in um but yeah take it however it resonates um I think I'm going to leave this reading here, pile three. I hope you got everything out of this reading that you really wanted and needed. I hope it entertained you at least if it didn't, um, or it entertained you as well, potentially. Um, it has been a pleasure reading for you. Thanks so much for sticking around through this whole reading. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, and if you could like, comment and subscribe to keep me on your feed for more intuitive tarot card readings, I would really, really appreciate it. Until next time, ciao. Thank you.